Time and time again on numerous videos and streams, I've said that the Sasuke sisters' current run of Black Widow is by far my favorite comic out right now. All of the current mistakes that many writers make, especially the Marvel ones, the Sasuke sisters do not make those at all. Today we are going to be covering the recent issue four of five. If I'm not mistaken, I may have covered every single issue up until now on this channel. It's so good, it's hard not to. To set the scene, for those that don't know, they're not keeping up with this, which you should be, but Nat is on Majapur helping Tiger suppress a bunch of pedophiles and human traffickers um, that broadcast a game called No Restraints Play in which people can bid on what happens to um, that person being held against their will. And unfortunately, at the end of the last issue, Nat was captured and she's going to be the next victim of this game. Let's get into it. Okay, this is the lovely cover. And we end up starting this with Tech Ed and Tiger trying to locate the whereabouts of Nat. This is when they find out that Nat is the next victim of No Restraints Play. As you can see, um, there are bids going on in the background and Nat is being waterboarded sort of down here. She does, however, have an earpiece still in her ear. So Tech Ed is able to communicate with her and he's trying to hack the security of everybody tuning in. Right um, here is when we get Black Widow really taking a trip down memory lane and she's basically saying that now she's going to start working for herself when you consider um, her history. Due to the water, the earpiece does end up dying out and then one of the bidders says that they want to see her unmasked. They wanna see um, who, who this is. But right as the suspect is about to do it, he gets his arm broken by Black Widow, of course, the security team is on their way. Keep in mind, this is streaming live as well. Um, and it looks like Tiger's right outside. Nonetheless, Nat messed Vlad up pretty badly. Chainsaws and whatnot, cutting off his arms. This is for payback for when he cut off the, or chopped off the hands of a little girl. Um, if you remember back in some previous issues. Now that's right before the security team arrives in and just starts shooting the place up but they are only shooting their own guy, Vlad. Um, and it does look like that Nat is on the ceiling right here or on top of something. And then she starts slicing these fools up. I really love this page right here. This is awesome. It really captures how Nat is just running through these fools. This is some solid ass artwork, if you ask me. Meanwhile, Tiger is downstairs freeing all of the kids who probably have been a part of this No Restraints play game or are about to be. Nat is upstairs still kicking all sorts of ass to screaming. She's like, ignore it, Tiger is. Dialogue is tight here too, because Nat says, people that prey on children don't deserve restraint, they deserve her. So the building is on fire, blown up. Tiger grabs Nat and is like, dude, chill out. Cause she wanted to keep kicking ass. She's like, chill out, we found the leader. His name is Fun Dad. Nat's rage seems to have calmed down though when she sees the kids that end up getting saved. So the kids go back with them to the princess bar where they get clothes, food, and something to drink. We also learned that the Prince of Majapur seems to be the guy behind this according to Tech Ed, behind the sick, the sick game that is. So, of course, they immediately run up on him. Tiger immediately punches his ass in the face and uh, she wants some answers. The prince acts like he doesn't know what is going on, what she's talking about. He's like, she can have whatever she needs and Vlad will help, but of course Vlad just ended up getting killed. There was a device that Tech Ed gave them in a previous page and he was like, plug this in to their network or to a computer on their network and it will wipe out all of the prince's defenses. Turns out that's not at all what it was. It wasn't a hard drive, it was a homing beacon, which ends up blowing they ass up. <laughs> and yeah, that's how we end this issue. So in this crazy turn of events, Tech Ed seems to have been a snake this whole time. He's been assisting them from the beginning. So is he the one behind all of this? Uh, the sick game, is he behind that? 
Why did he attack them? I'm not really sure, but I'm sure we'll find out at the very least in the next issue, which will be the finale. But I have to reiterate how well written this is. I didn't see this coming at all, and it's really keeping me on my toes. Sasuke sisters just simply know what they are doing. The character already fits their style, hand and glove fit really, um, and they're making this a great comic without all of the gimmicks. They know how to do a female character without all of the gimmicks, which for whatever reason, writers can't figure that out these days. I think that Marvel would be idiotic chumps if they didn't continue to pay the Sasuke sisters to write Black Widow and maybe even pick up some more characters. It's a shame that this is only five issues in terms of this series. Anyway, that's gonna do it for this review. Until next time, man, y'all be easy.